So today, we're doing the unthinkable. We're doing the impossible. We're gonna pull a legendary champion from an ancient shard. Well, at least I think we will. And just before we do that, I wanna thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. If you want your own free, epic champion and a ton of loot to help you dominate in the beginning of the game, make sure to use my link in the description or this QR code right here to download the game for free and get all of that sweet loot. This works for both new and returning players as long as you create a new account. Using the link supports your boy right here and makes you a true legend. So like I was saying, there's an event going on. There's a really exciting event going on, my first exciting event, where I wanna be able to have a two times chance of epic and legendary champion from an ancient shard. Now, and also on top of that, there's a targeted champion boost. That's also very exciting. So let's take a look at what all of this even means. Um, so first and foremost, two times, did this say two times? Two, two times chances uh, for epic and legendary champs, right? So if I look at the, the percentages over here, from an ancient shard, right, to get uh, an uh, epic or legendary, there's a 16% chance of an epic and a 1% chance of a legendary. So that means there's a 32% uh, chance of an epic and now a 2% chance of a legendary from an ancient shard, from what I understand. But on top of that, on top of that, there's this targeted champion boost. So there's a 10 times chance of getting this guy, Vizug the Noxious, who, by the way, from what I understand, I, I looked a little bit through his skills. Like, look at his skills here. First of all, they all attack all champion, uh, attacks all enemies, attacks all enemies, attacks all enemies. I mean, he attacks all enemies all the time. <laughs> every one of his attacks hits everyone. Isn't that a good thing? I think it's a great thing. On top of that, there's a poison and HP burn debuffs on each enemy. So that's, I, I know poison is always good in this game. Then there's another poison and another HP burn. And then there's an increased accuracy, which is always good. So long story short, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I looked him up on Hades, on Hell Hades, and he's a, rated a four star. My only other four star that I have, and we'll look at my other champions in a second because I want to prove a point here, but my only other four star over here is Kale, who's maxed out. Everyone else on Hell Hades that I have is rated below four star. I know, I know, it sucks. Long story short, I really want to get to this guy. I'm thinking we should really, we could use him. He could be an integral part of my team. My only team that I have right now, I only have one five champion team. So, 10% chance. Now, so if you, but, but, but my question here is there's, so there's a 2% chance for a legendary, but a 10% chance that I'll pull him. So, is it safe to say that I have a 2% chance to pull any other legendary, but I also have a 10% chance to pull him? 10% is really good, I think. 10% is very good. I don't, oh, God, please, please, just one time. Let me have a, le I'll, let me show you, but I have 39 chances. I've been grinding, as you can see, I have other shards, right? I have my void shards, I have six of them. I have one primal one, which I'm saving for a similar event for a primal thing. And then I have uh, three ancients. I know that, you know, you're not supposed to be opening them until there is some sort of an event that helps you, right? The primal one, I heard Ash and everybody else say, at least wait for the double, because that gives you a 2% chance at least. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the sacred ones, I think, are better for like when there's other events going on. Long story short, I don't know when, but right now is not a good time. So I want to see what kind of champions I get from those right there that I have. Maybe I'll have somebody cool. Maybe I'll have somebody amazing. Maybe the mythical or the primal shard is going to give me mythical champion that's going to be like the most awesome champion ever <sighs> maybe but i don't know so i have to wait so i'm really hoping i get a nice legendary champion because if you look at this it's embarrassing this is embarrassing i only have one other legendary in my entire champion team i have one legendary and it's the worst as ash says the worst legendary champion in the game is my only legendary champion so she goes in every one of my teams you know because like i said i don't really have that many if we take a look at kale 
So he's good, right? I maxed him out. I make, I'll blink a videos for you if you want to see the journey to that. But, I mean, realistically, he's maxed out. He just needs the soul stuff, right? From what I understand, you need to... I haven't done the soul stuff yet. So I know that he needs the red stars, but other than that, he's maxed. You know, I have Chronicler over here, which everyone says she sucks, but I mean... <laughs> it's my... That's what I got. And I also have the souls for her, so I could make her maxed out. We'll see in the next video. Then I have Hyka Tune. I also have Tree Shield right here. Cannon Ness, who is like one of my best champs. And then I also have Armager. I keep him around. You know, and then most of Jizar right here is not bad. I was able to fuse a Slixis from one of the last events. Only one Slixis, but I was able to do it. In fact, actually, I think I might have shards for him. We'll check that in a second. I was able to pull Karam right here, and then, you know, we're not, who is also not bad. And that's about it. You know, those are like my only champ. Everybody else is that kind of food and whatever. Those are my only champions. If you look at my vaults right here, I'm just saving some of these for food and upgrades. Right? I have a bunch of four stars already. And then the reserved one is all of the champions that I use for fusions. I have nothing else. <laughs> so it would be really nice to pull something really nice from these shards come on baby let's do this let's do this two times the event i'm ready i'm ready for this i'm ready to receive the legendary champion let's try our first 10. i'm ready to receive the legendary champion lord please come on i don't even know what it looks like it does it look oh i get 100 points that's nice does it look different? Is it not like blue? Like it has a blue light, right? So it probably has a purple light for an epic. <sighs> and then the, maybe a legendary gets like a, oh, right? you get like a nice uh, yellow or orange or whatever, or gold light. Let's just try this one more time. I don't have that many of them. Come on, baby. Corn, purple, yes. Yes, two of them. Come on. For the love of, ooh, 500 points, what? How am I getting all these points? Oh, it's a, because you're, so, right, because I'm, so, let me, just really quick, let me double check this. Why am I getting points here? I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong. Ooh, oh, it's in this one, the good, ooh, we got the first reward. So champion, uh, summon a champion by any means necessary. So, okay, okay, that's how. Oh, I'm second. Oh, that's for the soul. Okay, so, the, oh, okay, I see, I see here. So first of all, let's pick this up because I know we need the soul stone. That's gonna, I actually don't even know what we need that for, but we need that for something. So, when I get 5,000 points, I'll be able to get the soul for hopefully the champion that we're gonna summon right now. I got this. So this is actually pretty good. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, let's go back. Please, how many more do I have? 19 more. Oh. Wait, how many? Six, 60 gems for 10. All right. All right, I guess. I guess I need to expand my champion storage. I've never had so many champions before. I'm really excited. This is going to be epic. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, legendary, for the love of God, please, 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 please. Give me gold. 100 points. No. And I already have a couple of these. Um, I think I have Skull Sworn and I have a Rock Tooth. However, I don't have the other ones. So I should go through and look at all of them. New champions, maybe there's somebody good in there. Maybe I have somebody who's going to replace and actually get me a good team. But for now, come on, gold. Come on, gold. Okay, epic. All right, good. Epic. Who's this? A fane. I don't have a fane. Okay, awesome. Come on. Come on, baby. Give me a gold. I think I actually have the adjudicator. That's not a good champion from what I heard. But I'll go through and run him on Hell Hades when I get... When, oh, come on, come on, come on. Not a gold, not a gold. I don't know who this is, but come on, gold. Come on, baby. Do it, purple, okay. A terror beast? Hmm. Is it good? 
Attack one enemy, 20% chance. Attack two times at random, and a reflect. I don't think this one's good, although I look them up, but. All right, it's time. It's time, five is my favorite number, okay? Um, this is the one. This is not the one. Blood Painter, I don't have that one, but come on. Come on, just, I, I need the legendary. I need to have another legendary. I, I can't have Chronicler Adlin be my only legendary forever, right? I'm not opening up the other shards right now, and that's all I have, come on. Because I want to fuse. Broadmaw. We'll talk about that in the next video. Come on, baby! You're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna get down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. We got two more shards left. That's all we got. And I need to... Okay. Yeah. Well, wait. I could have bought it for 360k and I spent gems on it? I didn't realize that. Oh my god, waste of freaking gems. What an idiot. I would spend anyway. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, legendary. Do it. No. Okay. It's gonna come down to the last one. Ogre one. I don't know who that is, actually. Um, so I'll look him up, but let's see. Chance of removing uh, moving buff. <sighs> Doesn't look very good. But okay, so last one. This is it, okay? Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to, you know, give me some positive vibes here. Let's see if we can pull this champion, because I don't know. Um, I'm not, you know, going to be buying any shards. So I, maybe there is a chance for me to pull, like, a few more after this video, right? Because I'll probably try to get a couple more blues. But realistically speaking, this is the last one. We need to pull this legendary champion. It would be the most amazing thing if we do it right here. So let's just do it. Come on. This is it, last. Okay, at least it's an epic. I think I have that epic. <sighs> no legendary. Technically speaking, there was only a 10% chance to pull him. So I guess this makes sense. <sighs> I'm very sad, but let's go see how far we got up in the tournament. Oh, nice, okay, okay. I mean, I love, I love a skill tome, so an epic skill tome is definitely going to help with all of the epic champs. Because we got some new champions, okay? So there's that. So let's be positive. Let's just quickly overlook what we got here. And then I'm going to go cry. Okay, new epic champions. Who do we got? Lady Eresh. All right, so let's go on Hell Hades over here and look them up. Lady Eresh is a 2.5 star. Bone Keeper. Another 2.5 star. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Fane, a three and a half star. Okay, that's pretty good. What does she do? Attacks one enemy two times. 35 chance to stealing 5% of the attack. That's, I guess it decreases the turn meter, so that's good. Attacks one enemy, 75% chance to place two. Po okay, poison. Poison's good. And if you ascend, she also does a decrease of the attack, which is also pretty good. Uh, and then attacks an enemy three times with the first hit ch chance of being a decreased defense for three turns second chance of weaken for three turns and then the third chance wow okay so heals the champion by four percent that's pretty good i guess that's a pretty good yeah that's actually really good okay all right we got one good one we got one good one let's keep going three and a half that's pretty good i only i don't have any three and a halves besides yeah, I think that's all. Terror Beast. Terror Beast. Come on, man. Just give me some good ones. What is going... One and a half... I kind of figured. One and a half star. So that is probably champion food. I don't know. And then let's look up Marksman. And Marksman is a two star. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong here. And of course, I'm not gonna get rid of any of these champions for now because I wanna hear your feedback. So let me know down in the comments below if any of these are good. Helhedi says that I should keep this one and hopefully probably put her in my lineup. Uh, her, I think, right? It looks like a her. I mean, I might be wrong, whatever. 
you know, put this champion in my lineup. I don't really have that many 3.5s. Most of the mine are lower than that. So it's probably a good idea. I'll start, you know, leveling her up and we'll see what happens here. I don't think I have any other skinwalkers. I'll take a look. But long story short, do, do you think I should keep any of the other champions? Are they good? Let me know in the comments down below. Because the rest of my champions, the rest of the things that I've gotten here are basically all blues. Now, that doesn't mean anything bad, right? Let's look up Ogurun. I don't actually know who that is. I have a couple of blues that are fantastic, like Tree. Okay, this guy's rate is a three. So that's probably pretty good. I have a bunch of like, the, like I don't know who this is. Majest, he's a rare. Who's this guy? Slayer. I got a Preserver. A Blood Painter. Jeez. A Grinner. This one I know. I looked him up. It's not good. Ironclad. Let's look up Ironclad. Okay, he's a three star. So that's not bad. Then we got Handle Guard, a Wagon Bane, a Stout. This wow! Look at the helmet on this guy. Uh, I already have this, the Hospitaller, or whatever her name is, the Adju uh, the Adjudicator. Okay, let's look up the Adjudicator. A one and a half. Oh baby, a one and a half star. So not good. What about a Diabolist? A two and a half, all right. What is this? Um, the Thurgist. Thurgist? Thur Thurgist, the Night Revelant? I mean, I guess one thing that's good, uh, one and a half, jeez, man. I guess the one thing that's good about these is that I could actually probably do a lot more uh, faction wars, because I'm, what is this, Hellborn Sp Hellborn Sprite, look at the face on, on the Hellborn Sprite. Sp I like Sprite. I mean, I, I like Ginger Ale more, but Sprite's a two, two and a half star. All right, Sprite. <laughs> I got you. Sanctum. Look. Wow, I like the helmet. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Also, Sacred Order. I normally like the Sacred Order ones. They're pretty cool. Um, and then we got a grappler, we got a rotting mage. Interesting. The undead hordes, rotting mage. Let's look up a rotting mage. A one and a half star, so that mage can keep on rotting. Hell berserker. Alright, we got a barbarian. Nice. Nice. A little banner lord action. And a cat effect. They look, they look exactly the same. They are. They're doubles. Okay. Sweet. So that's basically what we got here. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Which one should I keep? Do you like any of them? Do I completely suck and have no luck? Did you pull a legendary from all of your ancient shards? I'd love to hear from you down below. Thanks again, Raid, for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you in the next one.